Susan on the corner was in town the other day, and um, it was her anniversary. So I went to that posh French place down by the memorial, and um, there was you. So? Well, there was you having dinner with a man. So? Having dinner with a man in a restaurant. So? You had dinner with Tina? Yeah, but not in town. But well, Susan said he was gorgeous, like a, like a film star, like an escort. He's my boss. She said it was intimate. I said, well, he's had girlfriends. <laughs> she said, well, there's no chance a girl would get her leg around that table. No chance. Have you gone Bender? He's just hearing this. She doesn't care. Her friend Sean's got two mothers. Go on. You never tell me anything these days. It's like I did something wrong. I did, didn't I? It's not that. It's my job. It's difficult. It's... Look at it from my point of view. Mum and Dad had Stephen, you. They had Tammy, you were fine. And then they had me and Dad buggered off. It's not your fault. I don't, I don't mean fault, just there I was and off he went. Maybe it was bad timing. That was when he met Jacqueline. It just happened to be then. Jack. <laughs> oh God, I'll never forget that. No, don't call me Jackie. My, My name's Jacqueline. Jacqueline. <laughs> but she just proves my point. Because he wasn't a wanderer. He stayed with Jacqueline. He had a son and everything. He was faithful. The only time he wasn't was when I came along. I don't know. Maybe. Definitely. He was just too much of a coward. I wish I'd said something to him. I never had anything to say, really. Any time I'd see him, I'd just sit there and I'd think, what do I say? I had lots to say. It's too late now. It's his loss. Shame on him. Shame on our father's head. For shame.